Right, well it's time to have a clean up, get the back off the lathe, put all that stuff somewhere and have a go at fitting this DRO. Need to have a bit of a clean up first though. Anyone who's got a metal lathe will know what an absolute pain in the arse sweeping these poxy things up. Oh, especially when you're tooling like mine and produces these great long bloody stringy bastards that just get caught up in your broom. Just make your life bloody misery. Probably why I don't clean up enough. Oh, that's the back of my lathe all cleaned off. Now I've got to figure out how I'm going to fit this. They gear this bracket. I can't see that being much use, to be honest with you. I think I'm going to have to make the bracket or something with this. Oh, <coughs> I need to fit that on there. With the same coming down off of here onto that. We drill in between these two these bolts how flat is that? what I'll do with that? that is going to be if I'm mounting that on there that won't be too bad That's, I'm going to have to obviously space it out a little bit only a little bit though just to give it a bit of clearance to get onto here, so I onto that. Right, get this screwed on here first. I've had to re-drill these holes <clears throat> and tap them. It was just a little bit, even as low as I could get the actual scale. When I got the cover on, it was just a little bit too close to where the bolts come through for the reader, for the slidey bit. That's why I had to re-drill the holes and drop the um, scale down a bit because when this was screwed in, it was rubbing on here. Glad I remembered this to go on. I nearly forgot about it and was going to start fixing this to that and this sticks out miles over the uh, the actual scale, the cover plate. Trouble is, I, these are five mil holes. I ain't got any five mil stuff. So I... Uh, I ain't got any 5 mil threaded bar anyway and the longest
five mil nuts I've got just don't clear this. So I've, got, so I've got to make some. <clears throat> Can't go out and buy some because it's the um because we're all on lockdown at the moment. Screw fixer and everywhere shut anyway. So <clears throat> I've made these, this bit of, I've just got some brass, some six mil brass and I've just threaded the ends and I'm going to figure out how to get this bit onto it now and, and sort that out. Alright, let's figure that one out. Alright, so I've made this plate, I've made these two uh, spacers I suppose you'd call them. Got M5 that in that go into the actual slide a bit of the, of the uh, scowl. This bit's going to come through, come through the plate. I'll just put a couple of M6 nuts on them. Then I can move it in and out a bit, depending on where it is. Next thing I've got to do is stick this on and then see what spaces I need to go in the uh, cross slide. Well, not a cross slide. <coughs> the carriage. Just had to clean the thread out on this one. Couldn't get the... Uh, find it Mark this where I'm going to cut it off ish. I need to make the little spaces between here and the they want to be about oh, I'll make them about 27 then I'll cut that off get the spaces on there and then drill them
It's just marking them. This is the two spaces I just made. Got a male thread on that end, female thread this end. Maybe I should have put this this side. Leave it at or I'll move the scale because although that's pretty close and when the top slides in there it'll be alright. I think I'm going to have to move it. Bloody hell. I left this one where it was and just drilled another hole over this side. Bloody label looked like it's got woodwork by the time I finish. That's better. Now the uh, tower stock's getting right up to the chuck. Should be all right. Right, well that's the easy bit done, now I've got to figure out doing the cross slide. <laughs> 